case you're wondering about something like drugs, you can easily get drugs here. I've just been offered cocaine, 500 pesos. The bit with the dogs, right, where the puppies were in the thing. Um, two guys approached me and got basically followed me down an alleyway. So it's really important that you have some basic knowledge of Spanish so that if you're in those situations, you can get out of it without having any issues. Hola, buenas tardes y bienvenido a la ciudad de México. Hoy es domingo y hoy estoy en Tepito. Yes, that's right everyone. I'm back in Mexico City. It's good to be back. And that's right, you did just hear right, I am in Tepito. This is an area that is also known as a Barrio Bravo, a fierce neighborhood in other words. And the reason for this name is that this area has a great history with Mexican boxing and Mexican boxers. Additionally, this area is considered to be one of the most dangerous areas in Mexico City, not only for foreigners, but also for residents of Mexico City, Chilango. Many of you have warned me about coming here. However, one of the things I like to do on this channel is show a different side of cities I go to. It's not just about the tourist sites, staying in your comfortable Airbnb in Condesa. We come to the more gritty, real, authentic areas of Mexico City on this channel. So let's take a look around. Tepito is essentially a huge market. It's quite central, it's close to Centro Historico, reasonably, and it's in between the barrios of Peravil and Morelos. And you notice that I'm being quite selective about how I'm filming. I'm not in the market filming, if you know what I mean, I'm on the street. The reason for that is, is that this market is well known. It has a bit of a reputation for counterfeit goods, illegal activities, drug dealing, the sale of weapons. It also has an issue with crime in terms of kidnapping, pickpocketing, murders, that kind of thing. So um, obviously I don't want to get into any trouble walking around here. That place just over there has um, cigarettes, clearly from other countries. I think they're from India. Um, basically you can get them for like 10 pesos, 9 pesos. Normally a pack of 20 would normally be about 45, 50 pesos. So um, clearly, you know, they've got them from other countries and they're just selling them cheap. Um, yeah, that's just an example of some of the stuff you can get here. You can just get clothing, fake Nikes, Adidas, things like that, um, bags, jewellery, perfume, that sort of stuff. It is very much like a market that you would see in Asia with knockoff counterfeit goods. Right, I've just stopped off from the food. I've come out of the market. I've stopped at that place there. I've got pasty, basically. Frijol con chorizo, 15 peso. Fantastic, I love these. They are, these are awesome. And um, I just want to say, you know, I was, I was stopped in there while filming. Basically, the bit with the dogs, right, where the puppies were in the thing. Um, two guys approached me and got basically followed me down an alleyway. And um, they were quite adamant that I wasn't allowed to film. Obviously, my understanding wasn't fantastic, but I got the gist basically and you know what it was probably the first time in a long time that i've actually felt slightly unsafe because you know it's a big guy we're walking down like an alleyway i probably should have gone the other way which i did but in the end you know i just had a bit of a chat with him and said you know i'm gonna buy some clothes and, and food and whatever and when i said uh, filmando no bien he understood no filming um so it's it's really important that you have some basic knowledge of spanish so that if you're in those situations you can get out of it without having any issues. Let's eat this. Mm. That was beautiful. You know what, I just want to say something as well. You know, you're probably going to write in the comments that I shouldn't put myself at risk coming to somewhere like this, and you're probably right. But I'm quite a badass, I think. I am quite streetwise, and even though I feel I am quite streetwise, coming to somewhere like this, you really, really have to have your wits about you. Um, regarding the guys that stopped me, 
you know, I don't feel like scared or anything about that. I totally understand why they're doing that because if I was selling illegal goods, maybe I was a drug dealer, dealing coke or, you know, I was involved in illegal activities, selling guns or whatever, I wouldn't want people filming because, you know, they could get caught. You know, there's that topic of respect, you know, am I being respectful by filming here today? I don't know, but the point of this is to show you this side of Mexico, so I will take that risk. Let's get going. Okay, I found this um, food place that's kind of renewed my faith in Tepito because the people over there are absolute legends. You know, get involved with the locals when you're in a place like this, even though you might feel slightly uncomfortable. I'm really pleased actually with the conversation we had in Spanish. I can't believe it. Um, you know, knowing some ba basic verbs, it really helps. Sí, gracias. Oh, fantástico. ¿A cuánto cuesta? A 13 papi. 13. Ah, gracias. Perfecto. <laughs> solo, solo una, una, ¿ya? Gracias. So um, let's tuck into this taco with um, pechuga, chicken, y papas, chicken and potato, with salsa roja, of course. Yum! You know what, this didn't look particularly appetizing when she was cooking it, but actually it's awesome. So chicken, potato, salsa. Hola! <laughs> it's funny, everyone's really curious about me filming, me eating. Mm. Beautiful. The first food moment of 2019 is done. <coughs> Spicy. But I love it. Right, I've headed out of Tepito now, the market area. I'm essentially in Morelos now, which is the barrio next door. Um, and just on the food, um, I've read a lot about the food in Tepito in that it's prepared in unsanitary conditions and it's it's awful, but actually it's no different to anywhere else I've eaten in terms of street food in Mexico. Um, it was great, brilliant, great to mix with the locals. And um, just because I've come out of Tepito doesn't mean I have to be less wary and just go back to normal Mexico City, David, because there's still, you know, people around here slightly unsavory. It is an area that is has a high level of poverty and crime so you know you have to be wary all the time be streetwise the patron saint of morelos and the tepito area i believe is santa muerte death saint of death so you have these effigies is that the right word all around this area with flowers things like that and from what i understand at times of the year like dia de muertos people give offerings so you've got a little thing down there that you can put money into i believe but also people will put things like alcoholic drinks and cigarettes. At least that's what I've read. So um, yeah, very pretty. Just down the road from where I was is another area with Santa Muerte. So there's lots of flowers outside. As you can see, there's people queuing up outside. And just next to there, you can see that there absolutely is poverty in Mexico City. There's kids crawling out of you know a wall, as you can see, washing, hanging outside. I think it's important that that thing is highlighted as well, you know, we, we talk a lot about the tourist aspects of Mexico City, you know, Condesa, the central historical area, but you know, no one shows you this sort of thing, I think it's important that that happens. Next to the Santa Muerte, there is a little shop where you can buy things like incense sticks, spirit of the patron saint of death, and lots of other little things like that, which is very nice. So clearly, um, you know, Santa Muerte is a big part of the culture around here. Let's go back to the market where I will give you a bit of a summary of my thoughts of this area.
Right, I've taken a walk through the market. In case you're wondering about something like drugs, you can easily get drugs here. I've just been offered cocaine, 500 pesos. Obviously, I'm not going to get it, but you know, um, it's very apparent that that kind of thing is um, abundant here, which is no surprise to be honest with you. I'm now just down the road in Lagunia, which is just next to Tapito, basically. It's a big market as well. However, it's slightly less intimidating than Tapito. You know, it's a Mexico city I know and love, colorful buildings, that kind of thing. And on the subject of safety and intimidation, you know, I'm conscious that many of you watching this might be thinking about coming to Mexico city for maybe a week or a two week holiday, whatever. And you might be thinking, well, should I go to Tapito? Because this guy on YouTube has gone there. And you know what? I've got a yes or no answer to that. I'm the biggest advocate for coming to places like this where you can really experience the real Mexico City that isn't necessarily advertised in tourist brochures. And in that respect, it's great. I've had an interesting day. However, on the flip side, you know, if you're someone that maybe doesn't feel so streetwise or you feel slightly worried or concerned in this kind of situation, I would say no, don't do it. Stick to the typical tourist space, places like Cuyacan, Condesa, whatever. You know, everyone travels differently. Everyone wants to see different things and um, the biggest point of this from today is that do not put yourself at risk even though I probably have done in this video but I'm quite happy to do that and my last point for today is the fact that in many other videos I've talked about the fact that I believe mainstream media really misrepresents Mexico in so many ways however at the same time I'm not going to sugarcoat things you know this city does have a problem with crime this city does have a problem with poverty and this city does have undesirable areas but let's be honest for a second I'm from London does London have the same issues? Of course it does. Where you're from probably has the same issues. Mexico City should not be singled out as this crime-filled hellhole because it just has the same amount of issues as every other city does in the world. If you've enjoyed having a look around Tapito today and watching me risk my life, then make sure you hit that like button. Leave a comment as well. What do you think about this area? And don't forget to subscribe as well. There's a massive playlist of Mexico videos. I think there's about 70 videos now. So if you're new to this channel, welcome. I hope you all take a look at that playlist that I've just mentioned and um, enjoy what Mexico has to offer. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you later.